I've, I've heard many times, um, you know, people say that when I talk about Islam, they say, oh, it is Muji's Islam. It is your own interpretation. So I would like tonight to <clears throat> talk about, <clears throat> yeah, uh, something very important to prove that it is not my own interpretation. <clears throat> it is the people, I mean, the scholars, they never thought, and then <clears throat> today people are coming out and talking against what their interpretation and so on uh, from Quran and so on. <clears throat> there are different people, you can find them on YouTube. Even Brother Rashid himself, he has a YouTube channel and he also, uh, you know, interpreting different things, uh, different verses in a different way than the scholars who have interpreted uh, those verses uh, in many, many years, in over a thousand years. So I would like to talk uh, today about uh, chapter 5, verse 38. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, chapter 5, verse 38. Uh, which one is that? Okay, here. I would uh, share now this. <clears throat> Hello, Stephen. How are you, my brother? Welcome. I just, uh, if you would like, you can join and we can talk. Uh, that would be great. Share. I want to share this. I'm going to talk about chopping hands in Quran that has been misinterpreted in all these years so that nobody say, oh, Muji is just, uh, you know, it is his own interpretation uh, okay it is here <clears throat> yeah uh, I don't know if you everybody see good I don't know how to zoom in but you can check this Islam awaken uh, it, it has different uh, different inter uh, or translation are uh, better to say different translation of uh, this uh, verse <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> we see here the first one muhammad asad says now as for the man who steal and the woman who steal cut off the hand of either of them in requital for what they have uh wrote Oh, I don't know. Uh, sorry, but anyway, <clears throat> uh, you can check yourself. So it says cut off their hands. Next one says cut off their hands. Next one, Safi Kaskas. Even he's a quite, you know, moderate Muslim, but even he has missed, you know, they have just translate the verse that should be interpreted. Because I'm going to tell you why. So, uh, Kaskas also, cut off their hands. Uh, who still cut off the hands of either of them. Cut off their hands. So all of them, when you go down, all of them, without any exception, they all say cut off their hands, okay? Now, I would like to share the verse itself. All good, we'll join soon. Yeah, brother Steve, very good. I'm at work, sounds good, very good. Yeah, thank you, my brother. Now, uh, I would like to share something else. Share the, the, the verse itself, see in Arabic what it says and so on. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I have family, so I'm not so prepared and so on, but anyway, I'm, I'm doing my best. Share share screen no sorry not share screen cancel share share something else slide yes yeah, slide let me see if i can find the slide no it's not share share video extra camera let's see if it comes to video oh so Okay, I, I think I cannot this, <clears throat> this one. I have to go to, 
to Google. Okay, I will go to the <coughs> Quran 538. <coughs> I do like this. I go to, uh, and now I check. Yeah, sure. Share screen. Because I had uh, a picture from both verses that I'm going to talk about. Uh, <clears throat> surat. Okay. Here is the, the verse. <clears throat> Chapter 5, verse 38. All right. Yes. Looking good. <clears throat> so it says in Arabic, uh, for the thief, uh, and, okay, woman and man, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not so good in Arabic, okay, but I understand this. Okay, here, this part is qat, and this is yad, okay? Qat <clears throat> has, in Quranic language, you have to uh, understand it, okay? Let me bring for you uh, how many uh, different... It has been, this cut means they have interpreted or they have translated as cut off in this verse, okay? In this verse. I'm going deep inside it, okay? Don't worry. Chopping head, okay? Uh, sorry. Um, yeah. <clears throat> in Quran, uh, sorry. <clears throat> this, uh, Qat has many, many different meanings and uh, and hand as well. Qat has been used 32 or 36 times. Um, for example, in chapter 38, verse 17. No, that's Yad. Uh, yad, Qat, okay. Chapter 2, verse 166. Qat means uh, cutting off a relationship, okay? So the verse says, and they should consider that when those who have been followed dissociate, dissociate, dissociate themselves from those who followed them and... Just a moment. Hello, my brother. Hey, Muji, how's it going? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm good, I'm good. A uh, little tired, but uh, doing well. Uh, Oh, All good. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna. I always have to turn my volume up. Uh, I'm gonna turn it up. Mm -hmm. Uh, your your sound is. Somehow we don't hear you. <clears throat> anyway, um, while you're silent, and we don't hear you, so I say the, in this verse. Uh, Yes, and now we hear you. Now we hear. <clears throat> yeah, in this in this verse, cut means cutting off a relation. Okay, and then uh, there are many many uh, other. Um, I had actually, uh, you know, uh, some article on my Facebook, and I have put uh, many of these uh, different, uh, you know, interpretation or translation. Quranic translation of word that but in chapter 5 verse 38 those who uh, put it they decided to that it is cut off you know to chop off or amputate that means for them this and then next one is this uh, Yad uh, Yad is also uh, they have translated as hand okay physical hand. Hand has been used 120 times in Quran, 120 times in many, many different meanings as well. <clears throat> For example, uh, in chapter 38, verse 17, uh, hand means power. So Allah says, be patient on that which they say, and remember our servant David, the possessor of power, Rarely he were ever turned to Allah. So it, this hand has been used in these verses in 
uh, as power, for example, in chapter 5, verse 64, those uh, Jews said, Allah's hands are tied. It is they whose hands are tied. They are cursed by Allah for what they have said. God's both hands are open wide. Okay. And these <clears throat> people who interpret, they are so ignorant that in Islam, we know that Allah is absolutely cannot compare Allah to anything, to no creature. But they say Allah has two hands, you know. Some of them say he has two right hands. I don't know from where they get this, because this verse Allah says, Allah's both hands is open, wide open. They don't understand that it means Allah's power is open, you know. <clears throat> Jews were talking about Allah's power, and I will come to, to that as well. That uh, when they, uh, you know, Qat is, um, uh, yes, <clears throat> 34 times has been used. Uh, uh, I said one of them, that cutting relation, so on. But uh, anyway, I will go now. They don't mean uh, like the actual hand itself. Yeah. They're using hand like a metaphor. Oh, yes, metaphor. To represent something else. Of course. Yeah, like for example, uh, even today. Like their position they... or their power or, exactly. or opportunities. It's, exactly. Uh, it says, Allah says, don't put yourself in hellfire with your own hand. It doesn't mean with your own hand you put yourself. Hand here means your deeds, your own deeds, okay? It's, even today, some people say, can you give me a hand? It doesn't mean that you have to give him a hand. The hand is help. Yes? Right. Yes, give me a hand. It means that give me help, okay? So people use such a things, and people were using the, the same term, and Allah has been talking to them. Now, I want to... Uh, so remember here in this verse, uh, uh, yes, chapter 5, verse 38, I showed you uh, the same word, that and yet has been used as chop off hands, physical hands, okay? Now, mm, I share with you, I, uh, I shared with you as well that uh, all different, uh, uh, sorry, translation, because I say translation, they have translated, all different translation, they have translated as cut off their hands. Now, let me share with you uh, <clears throat> another verse of Quran with the same words and see how they have, uh, inter uh, you know, translate that verse. Okay. Sure. No, Martin today. Uh, Martin, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe he'll, he'll, you never know. Maybe he'll pop in later. Yes, yes, yes. You hope, never know. I, I hope so. So now, um, uh, next one is uh, was it I? Uh, uh, Al Madina, is it this? One? Ah, yeah, it's here. Okay, now, okay, here, chapter 12, verse 30. Uh, yeah, let me check, double check it. Chapter 12, verse 31. <clears throat> okay, and oh, I should sorry, I should first uh, share the the uh, with Arabic and then this one. So I have to stop this and then share that one with Arabic and then this different translation. <clears throat> um, do some people say um, if you're not reading the Quran in Arabic, it's not authentic? Some people say that or do they say <laughs> some trend? Do they not like when it's translated the yeah, Arabic yeah. speaking? Uh, I don't understand why I have had this. Wait, wait. I have to find uh, okay, uh, <clears throat> no, I do like this. Okay, uh, I go back. Sorry, uh, I'm so sorry. I have to, I think I've, I forgot that I have to do 12.31. Yes. Multitasking. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, here it is. Yeah, because that's how it is for the Bible. You know, there's so many translations and some people, they yeah. just, they don't like some yeah. translations and they say, oh, only this one is good, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this is, uh, I'm just, uh, because it is the same, you know, um, it is Arabic and we have to uh, know that uh, what it says in Arabic and then. Uh, uh, and the Quran was uh, written originally in Arabic? Yes, yes. That's the first language they it was written? Yeah, yeah, of course, okay. in, in Arabic, yeah. That's why, but the thing is that 
Quran says, chapter 3, verse 7, says that some of the verses are metaphorical. So the true interpretation is known by Allah and those who are firm in knowledge. So you cannot, these verses, you cannot translate them. They have interpretation. Now I'm going to, uh, where was that again? So, oh, here it is now. Okay, found it. All right. <clears throat> so for those who know Arabic, again, this uh, verse is in chapter uh, Yusuf. Uh, chapter 12 verse uh, 31 and the same word uh, let me see maskin here is you see and cut okay their hands do you see yeah the translation as well when you put it the google it comes uh and i get home i have been asking as well the <clears throat> arab speakers there is no any difference between these uh, words and this verb and word in both verses chapter 12 verse 31 and chapter 5 verse 38 there they say it it is chopping off their hands now so i showed you the arabic is the same words okay no difference now i'm going to show uh, uh stop screening i showed the the translation the translation of this verse see how they translate this verse because they have used some rationality here you know they just haven't translated uh let me see it is this one yes okay now here when you come to this uh steven and handed yeah. each one of them a knife and said Joseph, uh, to Joseph, come out and uh, show yourself to them. And when it is uh, actually it's, uh, some women, they come and there's a woman, um, she give them a knife and a fruit and um, ask them to peel and then ask uh, uh, Joseph, peace be upon him, to enter. When they, he enter and when he, and when the women saw him, they were, uh, greatly amazed at his beauty and so frustrated uh, were they that they cut their hands. Do you see, Stephen? Yeah? Here. Yeah, the same, I'm, the I'm same, following. Yeah, the same words is cut their hands. Why? Because they use some rationality that you, when you are peeling fruit, you cannot chop off your both hands okay maximum that you can is that you cut your hand your finger or whatever so they translate it as they cut their hands and now when you go down you see that all of them say cut their hands <clears throat> let me see cut their hands safi cut what happened why suddenly chop off their hands became cut their hands can you can you imagine, uh, Stephen, suddenly, why? Because here they use some rationality. They said it is not possible that while you are peeling fruit, you chop off both hands. There you have to chop off their both hands, the thieves. But here, and the same word is they cut their hands, just cut their hands, okay? Now, why? Because... First of all, it's impossible that they chop up their hands, even one hand. Oh, okay. Then they say they cut their hands with their with their knives, <clears throat> and then they said, ex, uh, exclaiming, "God save us! This is no more <clears throat> a mortal man. This is uh, what enough, sorry, enough, but a uh, noble angel." Okay, <clears throat> I don't know why he has used such a <laughs> difficult word. So. This is no a human being. This is not other than some gracious angel. So this is all of, you know what happened, uh, 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 Stephen? Not only they scream, if they cut their hands, they would be screaming, they would be blood. Quran should talk about this. But it was such a harmony, such a, you know, calm atmosphere uh, that they were, you know, even... Uh, uh, what is glorifying uh, Joseph and they were so romantic. So what happened here in reality is that they didn't cut their hands. 
They just stop their action. What's, what this story is this from? This is uh, from uh, like Joseph, from like the Joseph that went to Egypt. Uh, no, when Joseph, uh, this, uh, you know, there was a woman, she wanted to uh, have sex with Joseph and so on. Uh, she, I think she, uh, he was. Uh, in, oh, the, in the, the, yeah. pharaoh, or the pharaoh's general's wife or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then exactly. he ran away and left his yeah, robe yeah. and she lied on him. Yeah, yeah. And then later, some women. Potiphar or whatever his name. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, yes. Some women, they were talking against this woman that, oh, look, she's, you know, she's in love with uh, Joseph and so on. So she invited them to show them uh, this, how beautiful this guy is, you know, so that, they, and then when they saw him, then they also became, you know, they stopped in reality, they stopped peeling and said, oh my God, he's an angel. He's not a human being. Okay. So Quran doesn't talk a single word about blood about screaming so that's why these people have used some rationality okay in this verse and they said they okay so why you don't say cut their hands the, the thieves uh it is the chopping their hands why you don't say there that they cu cut their hands now, even if I, you cut the hand you know it, it will heal but if you chop it exactly, off it's over you know exactly it's if over stealing and maybe they cut the inside just so you get punishment you know it no, will no, no. heal, but okay, yeah. you know, yes, but chopping chop off, off the hand is that's exactly. it. a one and only time. Uh, yes, but now the thing is that uh, my brother Stephen, see that how you know backward and ignorant they were because that chapter five verse thirty eight about thieves says next one next verse uh, verse thirty nine. Let me um, I go to uh, yes. Let me go to the verse uh, itself. Which one I have? Okay. Um, sorry, I go to the verse so that I tell you what the next one says. The next one teaches us how it is, you know, the reality. 39, okay. Uh, the reality of that, the, the true interpretation of that verse. Let me tell you. Okay. All right. Now I share this, the verse itself. Let's stop. Sure. Sure screen. Surah Al. Okay. Here. And uh, next verse says, "But whoever repents after the wrongdoing, and mends their ways, Allah will surely turn to them in forgiveness. Indeed, Allah is all forgiving, most merciful." Okay. So I asked, uh, there was this uh, guy called, uh, he's also quite extremist, uh, Farid. I had, I had the chance, uh, Stephen, that's why they don't want to talk to me. They run away, okay? I had a chance to talk to them for a little while, uh, just a few minutes. So I told them that either Allah is, uh, you know, out of his mind or you guys are out of your mind because... Allah says in next verse, if they repent, Allah forgives them, okay? How can Allah forgive somebody that you have punished, not only a little punishment, but so severe, you have chopped their hands, okay? It is like that, uh, I gave them this example, that you pass the red light, okay? And uh, officer catch you. He take your driving license and he give you a thousand dollar ticket. And you say, oh, officer, forgive me. Please let me go. Please forgive me. And officer tells you, okay, you repent. I forgive you. But I'm not going to give you your driving license and you have to pay the $1,000 ticket. How? Yeah, that, uh, makes, that makes no sense. No sense. How? <clears throat> you got you to gotta pick one or the other, you know? Exactly. Why you would you to... need forgiveness if you already paid your punishment? Or exactly. yeah. if you don't do the punishment, that's why you get forgiveness. Like it's almost like they think you have to get punished and forgiven. <laughs> Two of yeah, them. Yeah. Well, double <laughs> double punishment. <laughs> you know what the guy said? Yes, what the guy said. He said that Allah will forgive them after you chop their hands. Come on, who is going to forgive ask forgiveness for such a cruel God? <laughs> you know. I mean, unless unless what they mean is, you know, the punishment is the physical and no, the no, no. You forgiveness know, is in spirit, but I mean, I don't no, know. No. Let me tell you, Stephen. You know, it's kind of like if someone goes to jail, yeah. They go and um, 
say they did something to someone's family, like they chopped off the guy's arm and he goes to jail for 10 years for chopping off the guy's arm. He does his time. That's his punishment. But when he comes out of jail, the guy says, I forgive you, even though you cut my arm. Maybe that's a separate, you know, but no, no, no. I don't let know. Me you, let me tell you, it's like this. Yeah, because uh, even he say it doesn't matter. It is about God. God says, I forgive them. OK, when you right, have, right. Uh, that, yes, when you have gotten your punishment and then God can cannot say, OK, despite you have gotten your punishment, I forgive you because uh, it is like this. It, simple is like this. That Allah says, "Stop them," because I told you what is what means hand. Okay, uh, it is action. It is power. It has many, many different. Uh, yeah, forgiving know, is the sign that you don't need to be punished. Exactly. Yes. You know you that's the point. Like if say, um, like you said, the guy runs the stop sign, gets a thousand dollar ticket. He goes to the court to pay the ticket and the judge says, don't worry, you've been forgiven because you you repented. You don't need to pay the $1,000. That exactly. would be a sign of forgiveness because yeah. you didn't need to pay. But exactly. if you pay and forgiving, what's the point of the forgiveness if you pay for <laughs> it? Is, it doesn't make sense at all. 